Okay, folks, we are the two mics. Are we the two mics? Uh, we certainly are the two mics. You and said it's Christmas, isn't it? It's Christmas. You said you weren't going to wear a hat. Uh, I said I wasn't going to wear a hat, but then, unfortunately, I sort of said, well, if you're yeah. going to wear a hat, I'm yeah. going to wear a hat. But okay. you didn't tell me you were going to wear this idiotic thing that you've got on your head, because I'm going to fascinate you. No. Uh, it looks like no. Santa Claus is going inside your head. No, it's not, a, it's, it's not idiotic. It's Christmas, and this is Santa Claus going down the chimney. Do you think it's great? Yeah, no, it looks like he's going inside your head, though. What? No, I he's mean, going down the chimney. nobody wants to be is inside your oh. head. Well, get rid of it. Yeah, I'll chuck it away. There you, you know, go. We are the two mics, it's very serious stuff, you know. This is Boxing Day football, it certainly which is. is massive. It's yeah. Premier League, it's betsafe.com, and you've got to be in it to win it. When you're with Betsafe, you're in it to win it. OK, mm. you're MG, and I'm Mike Porky Parry. That's okay? entirely now, correct. Now, we've got terrific uh, Ackers and Trebles opportunities. What have you taken uh, this week? Well, I've got uh, Spurs, who had a great result at the weekend. Uh, they're going to beat Southampton. And I've got Burnley to beat Manchester United, yeah. because Manchester United are not playing very well at the moment. Yeah. And I've got Liverpool to beat Swansea. Ooh, Swansea Liverpool to beat Swansea. absolutely Swans. down in the dumps at the yeah. moment. Yeah. And what am I getting? for that. Uh, you're, you're getting 22 to 1 mm. uh, for all of that. I'm yeah. getting 20 to 1 for my selections, which are Everton to beat West Brom. Tricky. I have to say, well, Tricky. you know, no, no, no. Manchester City beat Newcastle. Again, yeah. you can say that's fine. But the big one I'm going for mm. is Palace to beat Arsenal. Really? Okay. Palace to beat Arsenal? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I don't know about that. I mean, Why don't you start true. with Liverpool versus Swans? Uh, well, Liverpool versus Swansea. Liverpool had that amazing game with Arsenal they just the other did. week, uh, Friday night. 2 0 up. 2 uh, 0 up. 3 2 down. Ended up 3 3. That's right. They can't defend to save their lives. No. But Swansea can't score to save their lives. That's so right. you've got to say Liverpool yeah. would be massive favourites. They're in fourth place, right? Yes. They've had three draws uh, in the last five games. Yes. Um, you know, I just don't see Swansea as a threat at all. Liverpool, well, one to five favourites. Yes. Massive favourites. That's right. Uh, the draw, draw seven, seven to one. one. Swansea 15 to one. However, mm. Liverpool, although they're unbeaten at home, mm. right, have had five draws this season. So it's not like they are absolutely dominant at home. But anyway, you've got Manchester United and Burnley well, as well. Well, the reason they've had five draws is they keep letting stupid goals they in. They do. You know, I mean, five games they've been ahead in, right? They've yeah. ended up drawing they instead do. of winning them. They which do. Is, which is where they've wasted away about That's 10 right. points. You know? Now, United Burnley, of course, mm. Jose, he's not a happy boy, is he? He's after that not. Leicester game where they conceded um, just after 90 minutes, mm. right? He got, he got a bit prickly afterwards. He got a bit prickly. Yeah, he says his team's immature. Immature. Lou, um, Lou, Lou uh, Kaku is not scoring as many goals as he should. Sometimes. He's supposed to be unhappy. Sometimes when a manager starts having a go at his players, mm. it's the dressing room thing. But anyway, Burnley are seventh, right? Yeah. Although Burnley got pasted by Spurs, obviously, with a, another Harry Kane hat trick, which they was marvellous. They did. But United at 3 to 11, the outstanding. Favourite here, which I well, think. Well, they are. I think that's wrong. Well, well, I have to say the draw I mean, is five to one. You know, the bet save odds makers are normally right and bang on the money. Yeah, of course they are. Twenty-five to two for a Burnley win is a pretty good bet, and that's yeah. why I like it for my for my trouble because I think Jose is looking across the city and seeing Pep Guardiola and going, "Why can't I be him?" I think you're right, and I think actually Burnley had a shocking uh, track record last mm. season away from home. Got yeah. the first point away at Old Trafford. Indeed. So maybe you know, and Sean, Sean Dice, Sean Dice has got a hex on him. Okay, yeah, he might have. Although United have got eight out of nine wins at home mm -hmm. at Old. Trafford, the one they lost, of course, yeah. was against Manchester yeah, City. It's all getting a bit shaky for him. Now, you? now you also got uh, Spurs to beat Southampton. You certainly have. Spurs to beat Southampton. Spurs on great form. Harry Kane scored another hat trick. Yep. Uh, he scored as many goals now as Alan Shearer scored in yes. his uh, one calendar yes. year. Uh, so he could be breaking that record. He's going to be looking to Mo score Salah, more goals. Mo Salah, of course, and he, Liverpool's Mo Salah. And Never he. mind Mo Salah. Yeah, yeah. Mo Salah's yeah, yeah. going to disappear out of the video. You know, Harry Kane could end up after this, uh, after this the Boxing yep. Day, as the highest scoring player yeah, could. in the entire continent of Europe. Yeah, he could. Yeah, right? he could. He's, he's only got one. He's only one behind Lionel Messi. That's right. Uh, four to eleven, is yep. it? So Spurs. That's right. Yeah. The draw, draw four to one. Four to one. Southampton nine. 19 to 2. Southampton not really playing terribly well at the moment. Southampton only... Uh, Van Dijk is, uh, has been put on the sidelines. Southampton well. are 13th and they've only got one win mm. uh, on the road and four losses. So it's I don't give them much hope. Now West Brom, Everton, of course. Yeah, so my that's one of my picks. great, by the way. So just remember, Spurs, yes. Burnley and Liverpool, 22 yes. to 1. 22 to one okay. Get on the BetSafe website and check it out. That's what you say. Yeah. Now West Brom, Everton, I'm, you know, I'm pretty confident here Everton will get something out of it. Everton, of course, held Chelsea yes. at Goodison Park. But once again, no shots on goal, I'm afraid, Mr Parry. Well, at the moment, it's a, it's a work in progress yeah. of Everton progressing well, I'm not there. Well, they score any goals if they don't shoot any, got any you know, shots on target. Old Jags either. was brilliant on the line, mm. twice taking the ball off the line to save Everton. Mm. But Everton only have one win away from home, OK? Yeah. Although, you see, the West Brom thing's becoming a bit of a myth because, of course, uh, they've got a new manager, mm. Alan Pardew. Alan Pardew. And yet, well, he's an old manager, really, isn't he? Well, yeah, but also, their form since he got there is worse than it was before he got there, if you see <laughs> what I mean. It's true. So, so, you know, I would say West Brom, third loss in four games against Stoke. Yeah. And Stoke was struggling. Mm. 
So Everton go there. West Brom are three to two. Draw is twenty one to ten. Yeah. Everton nine to four. Indeed. Okay, I see that. I like that one very much indeed. Yeah. Okay. Now what about Palace... Palace to beat Arsenal. This is your well, craziest. Yeah. Team. Yeah. Yeah. yeah go on. Go four on. to one for Palace to win. Ten to thirteen. Massive favourites yeah. for Arsenal. Yeah. Draw three to one. Yeah. That's true. I'd say a draw is more likely than a yes. Palace win. Okay. To be honest, but you never know. Well, Gunners are six mm. uh, after that uh, amazing three three game with Liverpool. Yeah. They're six. They're two away now from Champions League. Yeah. You see what I mean? So they're not having a great season by any stretch of the imagination. No. Palace, I think, could be on a rumble, mm. could be on a roll, and one of those shock sort of results can always happen at a time like this. Okay? You never know. You never know. Now, Especially wasn't it amazing? Had a bad Christmas dinner. Uh, absolutely. Wasn't mm. it amazing that Newcastle managed to go to West Ham and uh, beat West Ham, who, well. who were on a bit of a revival, played, right? Well, well, Rafa suddenly uh, decided yeah. to play some attacking football when they did the right Exactly. Thing. However, they were 25 to 2 to win uh, against um, uh, Manchester, Manchester City. City. Of course, yeah. yeah. I mean, the, the point is, what hope has anybody got against Manchester City? Manchester City's away no, no. record is perfect, OK? Well, the home nine is perfect as well, out of it? nine. Yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry, that's nine. That was only, only drawn that's one nine. game, and that was with Everton. Uh, only drawn one game against uh, the mighty Everton. That's mm. right. uh, absolutely right. Seventeen consecutive victories. Okay, yeah. would become eighteen here. So, I mean, the odds really is it worth telling people? Mark well, three to eleven for a City win. Yeah, draw five to one actually is unbelievable. Yeah, it I can't is. See that it happening. is. It is. Twenty five to two Newcastle. But I mean, Manchester City right. not a very adventurous pick. I'd have to say. There you are. What else have we got? We've got Chelsea versus Brighton yep. to look at. We've also got Bournemouth uh, West Ham. Bournemouth West Ham. Mm. Where will people find out the details of that on the day? Uh, Betsafe.com. Why do you keep punching your hand? Because I like to emphasize these things. Kind of aggression, also, really. first Especially scorers. Of goodwill, mate. First scorers. Eh? First scorers, yeah, first and, scorers and increased odds will all be found where? At Betsafe.com. Betsafe.com. Okay, okay that's great. Go. Okay, we are the two mics. We, we want to say, please have a very, very happy Christmas. Yes. You want to say that? Merry Christmas to Merry all Christmas to all of you. Don't wear daft hats anymore. We only did it really to... Please, everybody in the world. Okay, when, when you're with Bet Safe, you've got to be what? In it to win it. Bet Safe.